The ancient city of Harar, where Islam meets Christianity, where two cultures collide. Every year in Ethiopia, according to UNICEF, over 9 million people are infected with malaria. In a bad year, like 2003, nearly 100,000 died of the disease. Since losing her son, Fatuma has become a volunteer health worker. The first thing she was trained to do was recognize the symptoms of malaria. <laughs> When a person gets infected with malaria, the first sign is headache. Then he feels sick to his stomach and his whole body will ache. When he is really sick, he can't move, he stretches, he yawns, he shivers. When you see the symptoms, you will know it's malaria. And unless you go to the hospital quickly, the situation can become very serious. At the end, you can't talk, you lose your balance, and you may become unconscious. Fatuma knows from first-hand experience, malaria is most deadly for pregnant women and children. At the time of my son's death, there was no health facility close by. So because there wasn't anywhere to take my sick child, we had to keep him at home. We had no money, so we tried to treat the sickness in a traditional way. Finally, we took him on a stretcher to town, but they didn't diagnose him correctly. Then it was too late, and he passed away. The death of Fatuma's son need not have happened. The Ethiopian government is determined to stem the tide of fatalities. Since January 2005, about seven million nets have been distributed. The hope is to protect every Ethiopian family at risk of malaria, 50 million people in all. It's the largest campaign of its kind in history.